Hey, what's up, guys? This is T-Bone here. So the Soul Forge was announced in the news feed on the 13th of February and is now available in the game. So what I want to do is just to talk a little bit about uh, what this is all about and provide a little bit more clarity for those of you who may be confused. And also uh, keep in mind that this is only available for players who have collected either Master Collection cards or Ultra Rare cards when they first were introduced and that did not come with any souls, as well as any Generation 3 relics. If you just recently started playing, uh, then this would not be applicable for you as you don't have any of the eligible cards or relics. And they actually do list, you know, the eligible cards as, as well as relics in here. And then at the very bottom, they also say that if you've obtained any cards from the Proving Ground store when the store was first introduced and those cards did not come with any souls, if you purchase any of those cards from back then, then it actually doesn't count. Those cards, you still need to go through uh, the customer support uh, service in order to actually get your soul trade in. So this is only for people who got the cards and relics from when the event actually was available. And so what you can do is, uh, if you go into the inbox, I've already claimed mine, but you should see some tokens where you can claim, uh, you know, some items for the sh uh, for the the store, for the Soul Forge store. And then if you go underneath Drill Fist Steel Depot, that's where it appears. And so when you go in here, you're going to see, um, you know, all of the eligible items that you have in your own inventory that includes any relics or any of the master collection cards or ultra rare cards that can be converted into souls so this is where you would actually uh, go to and a couple of uh, key things number one when you exchange your item for a soul you will lose that item so for example if i were to trade in one of my relics i will lose that relic and so the question then the next question is whether you should do this so my recommendation here is you shouldn't just trade all of these items in for uh, for soul, especially these relics, because relics are always going to be useful and you cannot buy them back. You cannot buy back any relics. So in terms of relics, you definitely want to wait for the right time. And for the uh, master collection cards or ultra rare cards here, you can actually still get the items from the Proving Ground store to uh, get the get the corresponding ultra rare or the master collection card to forge an ultimate form for you. And so uh, I would say if you haven't spent your um, Proving Ground store just yet, to, to uh, take a look and see what other cards you have available and then you can make a decision on that then. But as far as the relics go, I would say don't trade them in for any uh, souls just yet, especially since they did not say that this will go away anytime soon. Instead, I would wait for the right opportunity. And one of the such opportunities is now in the Drill Fist Depot, you can see the weekly deals. They've started to recycle uh, the older Generation 3 uh, decks including the relics that can help you get the ultimate relic. And so in this example, uh, I you can see that I have the Cavalry Saber here. And so I could trade that in for Soul and I can get the rare event relic and then get the get the ultimate relic. And so uh, how you can, you know, the way to, to determine whether or not you want to even bother with it is if you go into your inventory, when you click on your relic, you can scroll down and you can see what uh, the forged ultimate relic is going to be. And when you click on it, then it tells you what it will actually do. So in my example, I would lose one of my sabers, but I would actually then gain an ultimate relic that gives me some bonuses. And in this particular case, uh, this ultimate form will give me ultimate skill points. And the skill points is useful because the ultimate form that I could create with this team also requires uh, using skill points. So that is something that uh, can be helped. And so in the situation where the cards are or the relics are available in the drill fist deal depot is i think when you can make a decision to purchase the rare event relic and then trade in your regular relic for a soul so that you can um, actually get the ultimate relic here and this way you don't have to buy both from the from the store and you you wouldn't need to uh, trade in with uh, customer support because they did not actually uh, support that back then and so that would be the only time i would recommend doing that otherwise relics are always going to be useful in any event that comes up uh, so I would not trade them in until um, until it's time. And so I just wanted to, you know, take the, take this time to explain a little bit and to provide my uh, my take on what you should do. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below in the video or you can reach out to me in the network app and I'll be happy to also provide you with more info there. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.